Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of The Horse Lovers with Marbazir. <laughs> Hi everybody. And we are preparing for our war against mm -hmm. Rome. We have to burn yep. down Caesar Augusta again at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Mm -hmm. A lot of great war infantry on their borders there. Oh, that's the thing, I forgot, I can uh, upgrade my riflemen. Damn, if only I hadn't set up that research agreement with, uh, with Spain, I'd have so much more money. Yeah. <laughs> and you know who's still in this game? Morocco. Yeah. I don't I'm know actually amazed that, that no one declared war on them. Like, they're, what? <laughs> they're at war with Austria. They have been for a while, but Austria can't touch mm. them. Yeah. Austria is too busy defending themselves. Mm -hmm. How come infantry aren't obsolete yet? I have a city building infantry. And it's not a great war infantry or... Oh, no, infantry. All right, never mind. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got the name confused. I, the graphic. Mm -hmm. I forgot they, like, lose adjectives. Mm -hmm. I played too much, like, Dungeon Dragons and Diablo and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, no, no, no. The better something is, the more adjectives it's got. Yeah, yeah. It should be an in infantry of grievous wounding. Plus two. Yeah. Oh, the Kremlin. Oh, by the way, did you accept my deal? Uh, no, I didn't. I offered you furs, because I noticed you didn't have any. Yep, thanks. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh my, I just, all of a sudden, I've got a roast cooking upstairs, and the smell mm -hmm. just hit me, and all of a sudden, I'm so incredibly hungry. <laughs> I, I know that feeling. <laughs> Alright, we gotta play really fast. Uh, Nicopolis. Damn you, Nicopolis. It'd be nice if Maya went over there and burned it down. Koba's taking some damage. Tullum's taking some damage. Well, that's not surprising. The air force that Rome has. Pretty sick. Yep. Well, I hope they will stay at war. Mm -hmm. What might happen is that we'll declare war on Rome and then they will immediately peace out with Austria to focus on us. That's definitely a possibility. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, I don't know how much action is going on over there anyway, but... I like how they are doing damage both to the uh, Austrian cities, but also to Mayan cities as well. Yeah. So many bombers. Yeah. Your small city. Let's start on anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I got three different cities competing for one tile in the middle of my territory. <laughs> You're taking turns. <laughs> yeah, and that, that's the one tile that I need to connect my cities. If I lose it, I won't have a direct land connection. Oh, look at that, yes. Oh, you can't buy I it. I can't it's buy it, away. yeah. And I don't even have a great general, so that's not an option either. At least Denmark controls both now, and I can get open borders with Denmark. Mm -hmm. If I don't already have it. No, I do. Caravan. Oh yeah, I should send my infantry to you. How's Spain? Oh! They took back Seville! Hmm? What? <laughs> Go Spain! Wow! How the heck did that happen? I don't know. They've got they've got two they bombers, actually three yeah. bombers. Maybe they don't have Spain a big territory, isn't... so all their stuff is concentrated. Yeah. And maybe they aren't as far behind as we thought they are. Maybe. Or at least I thought they are way behind in tech. Hey, maybe I'll get my research agreement to pay off after all. Yeah, She's maybe. only got to live for... Oh, mm -hmm. this weird pop-up. 30 turns? 38 turns. Mm -hmm. That's all. Oh, I need to build a couple more trade routes. I forgot about that. Well... We, we can try to bribe Denmark to attack Austria again. Once their peace treaty expires. Mm -hmm. Apparently Caesar is plotting against me. What a surprise. I could get Denmark to declare war on Pakal. I don't know how helpful that would be, probably not very. But I don't know, it might be worth doing anyway. Just to make them hate each other. And not to trade with each other. Let's see. 
Oops. Five gold per turn. Six, seven, eight. get anything to work that way yeah he's working he's asking for quite a lot of gold nope he won't do it for 15 gold per turn actually I think he was asking for salt and I have a lot of that can go up to machine guns. That is... Yeah, I gotta do that. <laughs> okay, this is really strange. He's asking for salt, 5 iron, and 5 oil. But if I remove 5 iron and 5 oil, he won't accept no matter what, even if I give him a lot of gold. Oh, that's weird. It's, maybe I didn't give him enough gold. Well, I suppose I could give him some oil. And it's not like I need iron. Okay. I would prefer to keep my oil, though. There we go. I gave him salt, five iron, and nine gold per turn to declare war on Pakal. Does ruin some relationships and keeps him much busier, mm -hmm. which is important yep. for you. I'm a little worried that it might distract Pakal too much and they'll lose something to Rome, which would be bad, but yeah. mm. I think but I if don't... that's going to happen, that's just going to happen anyway. Yeah, probably. And he might actually attack some coastal cities mm -hmm. Pakal has. Zwedel finally fell. I'm sure that's not even close to how you say it, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, uh, which city? Z-W-E-T-T-L. Uh, oh, that one. Well, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> oh, another great scientist. Not that wow. we really needed one, but... Yeah, I don't think I'm... I, I think I'm... I'll save that one to wait for the research labs. We're not in a huge rush to get electronics, are we? Nope. There's not really a timing available there. Maybe on a different map there would be. I'm only focusing on the one research lab in my capital, and everyone else is building mm -hmm. like anti aircraft guns and stuff. Just because I need it. Got an infantry, that. I suppose I could use a little bit more artillery too, but nah, I don't know. Between the two of us, we've got lots of artillery. We just have to make sure we don't lose them. Yep, pretty much. And anti-aircraft guns will help for that. This rifle might have any upgrades. Oh, I should upgrade the units at the front. Okay, denouncements is fine. More oil hooked up. Oh, excellent. Spain wants more oil, and she will always pay me right up front. So what do you get? I can't remember. 420? Let me try a little more just to see. 425, actually. Oh, uh, no. Mm -hmm. hey, do you need salt? Because I have a lot. No, you don't. No, I don't think so. Okay, I don't remember how much this needs to be. I think you need more iron. 28 is clearly not enough. No, it's a big problem. <laughs> is no one going to buy it from you? Because Denmark accepted some earlier. No. No, right now no one's got the symbol for it, so... Mm. Eh, but Denmark will buy one iron from me, apparently. You can try. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, alright, let me go to try. Like, normally the mod will put a little symbol, if they will. Mm -hmm. 
Hello, I would like to offer you 10 iron. Well, no, that'll do something. I don't need your aluminum, buddy, but, um... 13 gold per turn for 10 iron. What if I offer you, like, 20, buddy? Twenty-one gold per turn for twenty iron. Okay, actually, not bad. <laughs> and you'll throw in four horses too. Would you mm -hmm. do twenty-two gold? Oh, you would. It's like no, I don't need any more horses either. <laughs> Trading all mine away. Yeah, that was a value trade. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll have to uh, manually check people from now on. Yeah, I had that happen before. There's no icon, but they will still buy it. So I tend to check manually from time to time. There you go. Nice. I think I wanted that for culture more than for happiness, honestly. <laughs> But now I have to build castles, which I'm about to finish. You got at least a couple, I think. I mean, I know I've got one in Ardea. Mm-hmm. Uh, although, I don't think I get the bonus from it, actually. No. Yeah, I guess the bonuses aren't shared. Unless, of course, mm, they're yeah, yeah, they aren't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Would Wait. be a little bit too good if they were, I think. Yeah. Neutronstein is one of my favorite wonders, though. Especially since the AI rarely prioritizes it. Yeah. But it makes such a huge difference. I also like the Blinging Tower of Pisa, but the AI always goes for that hardcore. Mm -hmm. I only really ever get it when I steal it from the AI. Well, my unis are on the way. Okay. Rome doesn't have much of a line right now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'll what? send two entire aircraft guns, and I think that should be enough. I don't have that many unis over there. Rome built a nice troll city in the mountains. Not, it's not actually a problem, but it is fun. <laughs> That's like the worst city of all times. They might get the deer, I suppose. Yeah, that's okay. That totally makes it worth it, right? Mm. <laughs> One deer need to start a city. Get that railroad going. Need that production bonus. And the higher movement. Oh, I got a great scientist. Excellent. Not broad. Um, but I'm gonna wait, I think, until the research lab is done. Since, as you said, we're not in a rush for electronics. Yep. Even atomic theory doesn't change our war plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much. The next big attack for us is rocket ship, pretty much. Yeah. Because that's rocket artillery. That's a huge yeah. difference. And Mobile Sam is such a good base mm -hmm. unit by itself, yeah. too. But yeah. Mm -hmm. Mobile Sam is a little bit too good, actually. It's a really good melee unit, and yeah. it doesn't cost any resources. It's a little bit crazy. Yeah, you can make that the backbone of your army. Yeah. First, Isabella. I'll trade that again. Isabella's got 11,000 gold. Wow, I think I just saw Morocco almost take a city from Austria. <laughs> because there's a rifleman right next to Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg is down to red, and Morocco is at war with Austria. Oh, wow. So Morocco actually almost took a city just now. <laughs> That's crazy. 
And they still might. Probably not, but there's a possibility. Also, no one built Crystal Redentor yet. It's been available for a very long time. Yeah, the AI usually gets that pretty quickly. I mean, I wonder if they're just super distracted by the war. What's the role building right now? Machine maybe gun. they just don't have the tech for it. It's possible that no AI has plastics yet. I guess that's true. I mean, are we still in the lead, tech-wise? No. Uh, yeah. No, Maya. No, Pakalis. Okay, then. But still, they may not have plastics. Yeah, he's building triplanes in Chichen Itza. I got a spy there. He does have a research lab in there, so he does have plastics. Okay. But he's losing cities big time. Or he's about to lose cities at least. Yeah, they keep taking damage, but so far, <laughs> although I actually see Roman ground units in his territory, so maybe yeah. it'll happen now. We should probably hurry up with Rome. Yep. But we need the anti-air. Mm -hmm, yep, and we I'm both almost need it there. We can't cover each other. Yep. Um, oh right. So I could pick up scientific revolution, but at this point, I don't think we need that. Yeah, either they go for a five-year plan. So five-year plan. Five-year plan, pretty good. Easily one of my favorite tenets in the game. It can be worth so much production if you have a lot of mines. I have a game going right now where I have something like 29 or 30 tiles with mines and quarries. And Oof. five year plan is just insane. <laughs> Oof, yeah, that's a lot. Without it, probably build it over here. We might want to raise that city uh, between Ardia and Novgorod, his palace. Mm -hmm. Should oh. be pretty easy. Yeah, he keeps loading it with planes, so that makes it tempting to get rid of. But on the other hand, I really want to focus on the front and like take take Setia. If we're mm -hmm. gonna go to war yeah, again, yeah. I think we need mm -hmm. to take something. Oh yeah, yeah, I agree. So many Roman workers. I'm actually surprised Pakal managed to be the tech leader despite his situation. That just shows how strong the Mayans are. It is. Oh, Koba fell. Mm, yeah. And Tolom is probably about to fall. Not that it's a very big city. All right. So atomic theory, and then we'll work towards rocketry. Mm, yep. Well, my first anti-aircraft gun is here. Yep, mine too. The second one will be there in five turns, so... Well, it's mostly up to you and how many anti-aircraft guns you want to get. I see you're going to get three in 14 turns. Mm -hmm. Or four, even. Oh, you're building them in almost every single city. Yeah, that's what I said, man. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go crazy for that. <laughs> Oh, oh there it is. Or he oh. actually managed to build that while fighting a war with Rome. <laughs> Although he's losing that war, so that might not have been the smartest allocation of resources ever. I think that's probably true. Um, yeah, the money's still good. Let's do that.
Austria the Maya. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Austria might take their city back. It looks like they're still getting beaten the crap out of. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting bombarded super heavily. I see at least several cities in red. Rome is number one in every category except literacy. <laughs> Well, they've been like that for most of the game. Yeah. Missing that spot there. Build me railroad. I'm still happy I've got a couple of triplanes. I mean, I know they're not super powerful, but they've got nice range. Yeah, I'm focusing a bit more on the Great War Bombers now. Building them in free cities. Yeah, if we can take Setia and flip it to you. Mm -hmm. that yeah, that would be quite pretty nice. Pretty amazing. It might not be in rebase range, though. Oh, that hadn't occurred to me. But his palace might be. Yeah, you'd have to count tiles. And it's not Great mm. War Bomber, because it's what, range times two? Uh, I think so. But it will definitely be in range of the actual bombers once we get radar. Well, I'm pretty much here, so it's mostly up to you now. Well, I mean, we might be able to start and just be super, super defensive, obviously. And try to kill off some of their units. I'm um, just trying to see here. I've got one anti-air and then that. What's the radius on interception? Two squares, right? Two tiles? Uh, on the anti-aircraft guns? Yeah, two tiles. So I'll have full coverage over all my current units. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got two and I can cover everything with both. Mm, we might be all right then. should move away. And uh, I was looking at his palace because his palace will be much easier to defend once we take it. Because it's not just taking the city. We have to also defend it unless we want to peace out immediately after. That's true. And Setia is surrounded by stuff. Uh, yeah. Do we want to redeploy over there? Start and take it right away and hope that Ardea doesn't fall? Well, I was thinking more like defend while trying to do damage to that city because it's pretty close. All right. Well, so we, can we just need to keep fire it. So mm. we just need to keep a defensive line while also trying to do damage to that city. Okay. Well, tell you what. Let's uh, maybe next turn because I just did an upgrade. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Next turn, declare war. Mine's my first guy in eight turns. <coughs> yeah, actually, if you want to focus on his palace, which you would want to mm -hmm. take anyway, that should actually work out very nicely. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can I focus on that. I like my structure for defending here. I could probably do something like this, actually. Redeploy a wee bit. I might just need a little bit of help if he sends a lot of melee units my way. Right. I suppose my great general, well, I can hide him in there. Actually. That's safer. Okay, yeah, next turn we'll declare. I'm okay with that. Hmm. <laughs> I really just want to automate my workers now because like, I'm having a hard time seeing the tiles that need to be improved. Mm -hmm. There we go, up here. It's so annoying. I suppose I could build a railroad up to Yaroslav. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. Yeah. 
So how about we end this with a cliffhanger? Because I think it's time to end this episode anyway. I like it. <laughs> Let us do that. So thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time, folks. See you next time.